I think he's a member, member Dinkelberg. I'm a cybersecurity major at USF. You would not believe the number of cases we reviewed where hackers got in by leaving a USB in a parking lot. What? Why would that work? Who the fuck is going to find a wild USB and pop it into a computer? Even if you're not trying to get yourself hacked, like, there could just be illegal shit on there that now you're implicated in. Who would ever do that? You'd be surprised. I mean, I guess I would, because that seems incomprehensible to me. The only case I know of that happening is the infamous Randy Pitchford porn USB, where he left his USB of porn at the Medieval Times, and somebody decided to check out what was on it or something. So I guess it, I guess it does happen. Welcome aboard, aim assist. As someone who works in cybersecurity in the Navy, and now the civilian sector, you would be astounded at the stupid things people do. <laughs> I guess so. And congrats on the new PB, Megadef. That's huge. Curiosity killed the cat. I just, I don't know, I just, I, I can't compute with that thought process. I would never see a USB and be like, I'm going to have to put this in my computer and see what's on there. I just don't know who would. It's not like finding a dollar. This would be like finding a bomb. Oh, I've heard of that channel before, JV. And yeah, I know King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Or finding a Bitcoin. Brother, you can't put a Bitcoin on a USB flash drive. <laughs> what? No, I haven't seen anything about a Payday 3 fiasco going on right now, Grim. You can cold storage. Cold storage is usually its very own set, or its very own hardware. I, I used to have this back in 2016. It was, um... It's usually just not a normal flash drive. I had, I think it was the Atomic Wallet offline cold storage device. Or no, Atomic Wallet was the uh, old wallet. Which one was it? It was big back in 2016. I thought it was Atomic Wallet, but I must have got that confused because this one's just like a normal crypto wallet. Was it the Ledger Nano? This looks familiar. Might have been this. Yeah, I think it was this. Now, if you found this on the floor at a Medieval Times or something, I'd, I'd truly understand why you'd want to plug it into your computer, because then you might actually find some real dollars, some huge doubloons. But this is not like a normal flash drive. Welcome aboard, Xander. Uh, keep it up, then. You're doing a great job with the USB pranks. Oh, sweet. Well, thanks, Demon. It's still just a flash drive, though. Yeah, kind of. Not really, though. They're a flash drive in the way that they're entered into a computer. <laughs> like, you still plug them in, but they're not like a normal fucking flash drive you'd get at Best Buy. I don't know. I don't know why you'd ever plug in something like that. Not the ledger. Like a normal flash drive. Hi, Cross. Did you know Amy Winehouse Pooh is in a New York exhibit? I did not know that. That sounds very cool, though. Thanks, Matthew. Look into some of the other shit Randy Pitchford's gotten into. 
Man, I made a whole video covering all the wacky things Randy Pitchford's gotten into many years ago. He's kind of dropped off the radar recently out of the public eye for obvious reasons. And probably not wrong, JB. That's the worst thing that could happen by plugging in a random USB. Well, one, all of the viruses and shit that apparently stem from just plugging in random USBs that hackers leave around parking lots. I guess that's a thing. And then two, illegal material that now you become on the hook for. Like, imagine you pick up a USB drive, you plug it in, and it's all kinds of just, like, illegal shit. Like, there's child porn on it or something. Like, what are you going to do? Are you going to take that to the police? They're going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm sure you just found this in a parking lot, weirdo. You're going, you're going to jail. You sick fuck. I did not watch that face-off video easy. You hear about the Dutch artist who has to refund a museum for selling them a blank canvas. Why? That's art. Everything is art. We've already established that. I don't see why this is where they draw the line with the blank canvas. In 2021, Danish Museum opened two large crates to inspect two works that had commissioned from an artist, Jens Ha Haning, but when the museum staff pulled out the canvas, New York artist, oh, a new work the artist had informed the museum was titled Take the Money and Run, the canvas was completely blank. They'd given him a loan of 532k, equivalent to 76k, and the money was used to recreate two earlier works. Now he's been ordered by the court to repay most of the money, approximately 70 grand. Why? It's it's art. I mean, everything is art. Taping a banana to a wall, all of it, and it's art. I don't know why this would be a problem. It must be just because of the title. Thanks, Moose. Or maybe it's because they were supposed to recreate some of their older work and they're having a problem with it. So he didn't deliver what they expected him to. Not so much that it's not art, but more so that... He didn't do what they asked with the money. Look at the 2008 malware infection of the Department of Defense. It's the wackiest of them. No, and I didn't see anything about that, Mature. You hear about the guy who married a life-size virtual music doll. Yeah, you're talking about the guy who married Hatsune Miku. That was many years ago. Let me see the 2008 hack. The 2008 malware infection of the United States Department of Defense it was described as the worst breach of U.S. military computers in history. The attack was named Operation Buckshot Yankee, and it led to the creation of the United, the United States Cyber Command. Sounds like some Transformer shit. The infection started when a USB flash drive infected by a... Infected by a foreign intelligence agency, was left in the parking lot of a def Department of Defense facility at a base in the Middle East. It contained malicious code and was plugged into a laptop that was attached to the United States Central Command. From there, it spread undetected to other systems, both classified and unclassified. Well then. That. I guess it's just that easy. I guess it is actually just that easy. Appreciate it, Corzin. No, I've never heard of that company before. Yeah, we're going to talk about the Twitter stuff in just a minute. Thanks, Jake. Yeah, super excited for this one. Remember, the people in charge are old. Well, yeah, I mean, I get that, but I feel like even if you're old, you'd be a little more cautious. Appreciate the five gifted members, Blade. 